Well, in the Republican presidential campaign, it's the senators versus the governors. You know, they're sniping at each other. Former Texas Governor Rick Perry saying the country should not gamble on another, as he put it. Young, inexperienced senator without executive experience, like freshman Senator Barack Obama back in 2008. Well, freshman Florida Senator Marco Rubio was fired back, telling the Des Moines Register that governors aren't ready to assume the presidency because they do not have the foreign policy experience that senators have. I think governors can certainly read about foreign policy and take briefings and meet with experts, but there is no way they will be ready on day one to manage U.S. foreign policy because the learning curve alone would take a number of years, and you see that reflected in the history of the presidency. So how does your current job matter before you get that big desk in the Oval Office? Tammy Bruce, radio talk show host and Fox News contributor, joins us as the David Goodfriend, former uh, Deputy Staff Secretary to President Bill Clinton. Uh, Tammy and David, welcome. Hi, uh, guys. Let me start with you, Tammy. One of the former governors, uh, uh, Perry, uh, does he have a point, do you think, about the senators? And do you think Senator Rubio has a point about the governors? Well, look, I think they both have an argument. Uh, Rubio is making the best argument he can to explain why someone with no executive experience, with no real governing experience, should be trusted with the White House. Perry does have the benchmark of saying, look what we have with Barack Obama. On the other hand, the real issue is, uh, I don't know if anybody is ready on day one for the presidency, but the issue comes down to character and leadership. Uh, I mean, uh, an argument could be made that uh, Abraham Lincoln wasn't ready. He was a failed uh, House candidate. He won, he, ran, he won one term. He was a lawyer from Illinois. Uh, and uh, he wasn't even the first choice of the, of the Republican Party. And he became, of course, one of our greatest, uh, if not the greatest president next to, uh, to President Washington. So when you look historically, the problem, though, with Rubio's argument is he almost sounds like he's kind of a little bit of a desperate young man going into a job interview. Uh, his answer is really should be that this is about leadership. It's about character. It's about who we are. He could use the Abraham Lincoln example, but then, you know, you don't want to compare yourself to Lincoln. Uh, but I think in the front, we're looking at job experience. That's where Perry is right. And then Rubio is going to have to prove that he's got the character and leadership. Uh, to lead. Well, there seems to be, David, a move toward the governors. Chris Christie famously predicted that the next president will be a governor. And Hillary Clinton, um, she's a former senator. Well, I think reasonable minds can disagree about whether or not this is uh, an issue for a governor or for a senator, but I think it points to something far more serious for the Republican Party. You have Senator Rubio, who's been a flip-flopper, I think, on immigration, and now this, trying to play offense and defense at the same time. He's trying to argue that he's better qualified than the governors in the race, like Governor Walker or Governor Bush. But at the same time, he's trying to differentiate himself from Barack Obama. And here's the problem for the Republican Party. Yes, they want to be able to say, we want a youthful candidate to contrast with Hillary Clinton. But at the same time, they have to decide whether it's youth or experience that they're after. You can't have both. So what's it going to be? And that is something fundamental to this contest the Republican Party is going to have to resolve. What about that, Tammy? Well, look, what, that's what's great about having so many people running. There is such a wide variety of individuals, people who are not from the Beltway, like Carly Fiorina, who is really making a lot of people uh, look twice uh, at her candidacy. Of course, governors with experience, Marco Rubio, who represents, I, I think, somebody with a lot of potential in the future. But this is where the debates are going to come in. And let's remember, of course, you have Jimmy Carter, who was a governor. And we've had good and bad presidents who have been governors and members of, of Congress. I think maybe it's time for somebody who hasn't maybe been in Washington at all. That's what's really appealing uh, about the yeah, arena. Yeah, and, you know, uh, I, let me, I did an unofficial Fox News uh, unofficial tally here, going back to the beginning of the last uh, uh, century, basically. You got mm -hmm. 10 governors, six senators. So right mm -hmm. now the governors are winning. David? Yeah. Well, uh, President Bill Clinton was a governor. President Ronald Reagan was a governor. Uh, President John Kennedy was a senator. Again, as I say, uh, there are reasonable arguments on both sides to this debate. But I think what, what uh, my Republican colleague just pointed out, uh, the issue of experience, I think that is something that Americans really want to hear a lot about right now. This is a serious election about serious times and the complexity of world events and domestic economic uh, issues. You know, look, 
we can talk about uh, political tea leaves all we want, but the American people want to talk about who's going to help someone like me. The middle class is suffering, wages are stagnating, income inequality is growing. Those are the bread and butter issues that are going to decide this campaign, and I personally think experience wins on those metrics. Right, and you know, uh, Tammy, by the way, we've got to end it, but George Washington, he wasn't either. Yeah. Thanks so much. For <laughs> Thanks, <talking>. guys. <laughs>